Hey guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about um, genetics and how they play such a big role in, you know, the kind of behavior that your dog is going to have. So right here we have Ruger, and this is a German short-haired pointer about four months old, and he saw a bird in these woods right here. And just observe the kind of behavior that he's that he's putting off, right? So he's he saw the bird, and now he's just on full hunt mode. Right? Tail going 90 miles an hour. You know, literally just consumed with trying to find that bird or, and hunt those birds. And he does this literally every single time I let him outside. It's, it's a never-ending thing. And the point I want to make is that is a behavior that is never going to be able to comp – I can't compete with that in terms of motivation. That behavior, and here he is doing it on the long line as well, I cannot compete with that motivation. Nothing that I can offer to him is going to be as rewarding as doing that behavior. All right? So it's very important the kind of dog that you get that's going to fit your lifestyle. And that's just kind of the point I wanted to talk about. And um, just finish out watching um, Ruger hunt these birds in these woods. If you get a German Shorter Pointer, they're going to be very independent and they're going to, they're going to want to hunt all the time and satisfy that, that drive that is genetically inside of them. And then the same for other breeds that might be, have other drives to do, to do different types of things. But it's a working dog and it's got to be fulfilled in that way. And if it's not, it's going to struggle.